Hello everyone, for today's video, we will find the area under the normal curve using Desmos calculator given various Z values. So, how to graph and find the area under the normal curve? So, we have to follow these steps first. Change the window. Since normal distribution has negative 3 and positive 3, we have to change the x value. And for the y value from negative 0.1 to 0.5. And you can actually type normal distribution from 0, 1, where 0 is the mean and 1 is the standard deviation to fill in the minimum values and the maximum values. Or you can just type keyboard, find for distribution, and click normal dist. So let us pull out Desmos calculator and click graph setting and then change it to negative 3 and this is positive 3. And for y axis, this must be negative 0 0.1 and this will be 0 0.5. And after that, you are ready to graph. But if you want to just type normal dist, that is fine, but you have to input the standard deviation 0 and 1. And if you want to see the graph, just click the CDF and you could see the normal standard deviation. Or you have options, so click the keyboard on this side and then find function. Go to distribution and click normal dist and it's the same. So click the CDF and there you go. So for this, you don't need to put the 0, 1 here because it's already given. Mean is equal to 0 and the standard deviation is equal to 1. You will just change it when the mean is not 0 and when the standard deviation is not 1. Let us find the area under the normal curve. So to find the area under the normal curve from 0 to 2.34, which is the minimum value, 0 or 2.34. Of course, 0 is less than 2.34, so therefore, we will put that at, so let's hide this first. So we will put the minimum value 0 over here and the maximum value 2.34. And then, here is your graph, and how do you find the area? from 0 to positive 2.34. It's actually here, 0 0.4903, but since the number after 3 is 5, you can actually round that off. So you can copy the value and put it here. So this is rounded off. So the area is 0 0.4904, in percent is 49.04. So again, the minimum value must be less than the maximum value, of course. So let's have the second example. We have to find the area under the normal curve from 0 to 1.8. 0 must be the minimum value because that is less than 1.8. So click this, keyboard, function, this, normal, and hit this, and... Let us find for 0 to 1.8 and hide this. So what will be the area from 0 to 1.8? Again, copy four decimal places. And since the number next to 0 is 6, so we can round that off. So therefore, this will be 0 0.46, 41, or in percent, 46.41. So you have to do the same with 0 and negative 1.75, but please be very, very careful because even if 0 is on the left and this one is negative 1.75, if we input the wrong value, that is very impossible. So let's say, for example, for this, Okay, from the problem that is 0 to negative 1.75. So let us try. Let's put 0 here. 
and in the max negative 1.75. So I want you to look at the graph. You don't have any shaded area because what you put in the minimum value and the maximum value is wrong. Now, I want you to look at the difference between 0 and negative 1.75. Minimum value must be, okay, let's click this. It says invalid CDF limits because minimum should be less than maximum value, okay? Always remember that 0 is greater than negative 1.75. So therefore, your minimum value here will be negative 1.75 and the max will be 0. And there you go. So this is now from 0 to negative 1.75. And what is the area? That is 0.4599 and the number after 9 is 4. So we will just keep it as 4599 in percent is 45.99%. Please remember that the area is always a positive number even if the Z value is negative. Okay, please, please, please do not forget that the minimum value is always less than the maximum value and negative 1.75 is less than zero. So that's why negative 1.75 should be on the minimum value and zero maximum value. So let us find the area to the right of z equals 1.11. So here is the hint. If you are looking for the area to the right of z, you have to input at the minimum value. Minimum to the right, maximum to the left. So since this is to the right, we will put 1.11 at minimum value. And there you go. So the problem is find the area to the right of 1.11. So here is approximately 1.11. And the area that we are finding for is going to the right. And that is 0 0.1334 and the number after 4 is 9, so round that off. So that will be 0.1335 in percent is 13.35%. Again, to the right, put the value in the minimum. To the left, put the value in the maximum. Let's have this example. Find the area to the left of Z equals negative 1.93. Again, to the left, we have to put the value at max. So this will be negative 1.93. So we should hide this for you to see the area. So what will be the area? 0 0.0268, the number after 8 is 0. So we will just keep it that way. And in percent, this is 2.68%. How about this example? This time, we will find the area between 2 and 2.47. So here is the thing. Which of the two is less than? Which of the two is the minimum? So we will put 2 under minimum value and 2.47 under max. So let us put 2 here and 2.47. All right, so this is from 2 to 2.47, and therefore the area is 0 0.159. All right, you can just copy it this way. So if you want to round this off, that is fine, but you can just copy it this way, or this is 1.59%. How about if we find the area between negative 2.48 and negative 0.83. So again, the number under the minimum value is always less than the maximum value. So we all know that negative 2.48 is less than negative 0.83. So this will be negative 2.48 and we have negative 0.83. So 
Here is the area between negative 2.48 and negative 0.83. So copy until four decimal places. And the area under this is 19.67%. And how about the area between 1.68 and negative 1.37? Again, I repeat, the number under the minimum value must be less than the max and negative numbers are always less than positive number. So therefore, we will put negative 1.37. On the minimum value and on the maximum value, we put 1.68. And there you go. So, as you can see, this is more than 50%. So, therefore, the area is 86.81% or 0 0.8681. How about the area to the left of 1.99? You have to put it on maximum value. So let's make this blank or zero. And let's put this 1.99. So to the left of 1.99, the shaded area covers the rest. So this will be 97.67%. And lastly, find the area to the right again. When we are finding for the area to the right, we will put the Z value under the minimum. So this will be negative 1.16 and your max is just black. And there you go. And the total area is 87.69% or 0 0.8769. That's all for today. If you think this video is informative and help you, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more math tutorials.